fam, it's your girl Gladys and welcome back to the channel. I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will inspire you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. This is part three of the synthetic wigs you've slept on. Thank y'all so much for the love that y'all have shown me on part one and part two. If you missed it, no worries, I'll link it in my description box, you can check it out after this video. This is supposed to be the last installment of this series, but if y'all tell me I want a part four at some point, y'all know me, I'll do it for you. <laughs> I wanted to do this because there are so many synthetic wigs out there that I've tried in the past, what, seven years of me wearing wigs? And sometimes there are ones that deserve another go around. There are some wigs that deserve to be back in rotation. So that's why I created this series so that you all know which one of those wigs I would choose that I would recommend. If you see anything that you like in this video, everything will be linked in my description box, which is super detailed. I am an Amazon affiliate, so you will see some links to Amazon as well. Most of y'all know that if you shop through my links, you are directly supporting my channel, which sincerely means so much to me. Y'all have been shopping. I see y'all. Thank y'all so much. Now, real quick, before we get into the topic today, I want to give y'all a quick update on this ponytail. Y'all know, if y'all have been watching, that I have been obsessed with these ponytails from Amazon, these Afro kinky ones. They're just giving me so much life. They're everything. I've been wearing them now for pretty much two months. In rotation this one has definitely gotten the most wear and that's why I wanted to give you an update because there's some things that I think y'all should know first of all it doesn't come like this out the pack out the pack it comes super defined so you have to finger comb it to get it to look somewhat like this however this is after roughly two months of wear I've been wearing this damn near every day y'all <laughs> I can tell you exactly how it moves and shakes and everything. I think it's well worth the money that I paid. I paid $39 for the 12 inch. That's what I'm wearing right now. I have trimmed it since then just to give it the shape that I want as it's gotten older, but it doesn't come like this. So I just want y'all to know that. Also, every time I've washed this unit, it's only been a few times, but it shed like crazy, ridiculous amount of shedding. I don't really expect much, I guess, from a ponytail where I've only paid $39. Now, if this was a ponytail where I paid like $100, like from a company like her given hair or something, I would expect there to be no shedding. But I don't think the wefts on this are like extra sealed or anything. I, I think it's on the lower end of the quality scale, if you ask me. They do say this is human hair. I don't think it's 100%. I think it might be like 90% human hair because I did find like a few strands that were like kind of wiry. And I was like, huh, that's not how, that's not human hair. <laughs> But overall, I don't mind because of the look that it gives me. It looks so freaking natural. It looks just like my hair, just like my hair. Now, the last thing I want y'all to know is that the last time I washed it, I noticed that the curls looked looser, like visibly looser compared to a few weeks prior. I couldn't understand why. I felt like I had to do more in order for the curls to spruce back up. So I say that to say, this is not your high quality virgin human hair, afro hair. No y'all, this is definitely very processed, definitely a low grade human hair. Please manage your expectations. At the end of the day, I didn't expect much for the $39, but I feel like I've gotten a lot out of it, a lot of use. The cost per wear, hitting, okay? In order for me to fluff back out like this, I pretty much used shampoo, conditioner. I even tossed it in my dryer. <laughs> I just feel like I have to do a lot more to get it back to where I wanted it to be, but now it's back. However, I think it's running its course because I've been wearing it all the time and I haven't been great with detangling it. I'll just take it off and pop it back on. If you want to really keep up this unit because you plan on wearing it on a regular basis, please make sure that you're detangling. Don't be like me, okay? Detangle the unit. So that way it stays in prime condition for as long as possible. But overall, I'm not mad at it at all, so I still highly recommend it. And if you're interested, it'll be linked in my description box. All right, y'all, let's move on to the topic at hand. First on the list of the synthetic ways you slept on is Outre Perfect Hairline Danita. <laughs> much life. I have not worn her in a very long time, but did you see the way that bob was bobbing? That, oh! The layers, the style, the way it falls, absolutely gorgeous. Only cons that unit for me was the fake scalp. Outre tried this whole fake scalp thing and a lot of us, you know, we kinda bit back and was like, Outre, cut it out, we don't like it. 
<laughs> including myself. But there is a way for you to cut out the fake scalp and if you look it up on YouTube, you'll see people doing it. Outside of that, it's a gorgeous wig. I felt like the hairline looked good. The texture of it was like a really nice yakky texture. Remind me of like relaxed hair. Ugh, gorgeous. Normally I'm not big on the flips at the bottom, but the flip didn't really bother me with Danita. So I recommend her. She's definitely one of my favorite bobs I have tried recently, like within the past two years. Next on the list of synthetic wigs you've slept on is by Sensational. It's a half wig, IWD4. Nothing bad I can say about this wig. Do you see how that joint looked on me? The half up half down style is this classic, never goes out of style for me. I love the way the curls just cascade down my face. The texture is absolutely amazing. It's a very textured unit, like kinky straight hair that has been pressed out and curled to perfection. At that time, I was doing a lot more headband wig styles, but now that I've been wearing my natural hair out more, I could totally see myself pulling this unit back out with my natural hair, just a little bit of leave out and straightening it out and smoothing it up into a half of half down, what? Oh, this unit is amazing, check it out. You can find it on Amazon or other web websites, take your pick. You already know my affiliate link is down below. You cannot go wrong with this type of hair. And even with summertime coming up, I would still rock her because she's just that gorgeous. She doesn't feel heavy to me at all when I wear her. Definitely a lightweight unit considering the length of the unit. Next on my list of synthetic wigs you slept on is another sensational unit, Butter 6. I don't want no scrub. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Can't another passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. I don't want no scrub. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Oh my god, it's been a minute since I've done a good intro. I kind of miss it. If you're curious about music choices, I do get music from SoundCloud. I will link them all in my description box. But y'all, Butter 6 impressed me. When it comes to straight synthetic wigs, Outre Volume Press is an old school wig that has been discontinued that I loved. At the end, do you see that? Ah! So much. I loved Free Trust Equal Freedom Part 203, which is still around. But this wig right here was a recent wig that was straight that basically became my new favorite straight synthetic wig. I wore it during my 10 year um, college reunion and a lot of people liked it. I have it in two colors. I actually got the blonde color because of my blue body by Kira. I saw it on her and I was like, I gotta have it. It's a beautiful unit. I will say that the hairline, it's not as pre-tweezed as I would have liked. You might wanna go in and pluck it a little bit to just make it look a little bit more seamless along the perimeter. But outside of that, it's gorgeous, especially in that money piece hazel color. I'm not a money piece color fan from Sensational, I'm not. But that money piece hazel, it can get it. <laughs> Let me know if you've tried Butter 6. It's amazing. Also, you should check out my update video that I did on that unit because I added a fake scalp to it, which was inspired by another video, my seven easy wig hacks video, where I show you how I created this fake scalp from a paste. A lot of y'all seem to like that video. Check it out. But I did it on Butter 6, and I will say, every time I wore that unit afterwards, it was just like a, you know, a plop on and go situation. Seriously, I, I was surprised. Like I wouldn't even put powder in my parting because the parting just looked that good to me. So, if you're curious about the fake scalp tutorial that I did some months ago, it'll be linked down below. Check it out. And definitely grab Butter 6 if you like straight synthetic units with a lighter density and have nice, you know, light layers. I'm telling you, that unit, that unit is it. All right, y'all, next on the list of synthetic wigs that you've slept on is an Outre unit from the Melted Hairline series. Martina. watching my old footage and I'm like really starting to miss it. I'm really about to pack the ponies up. <laughs> I'm 
lying. I'm not. I promise. I know y'all are wondering, like, where are some of the wig content? It's coming. It's coming. Be patient. But yo, Martina is ugh. Why didn't I get that in a natural color? I originally got the ginger brown color because it looks so good, as you can see. But in a natural color, if that's your jam, this joint hits. Martina is definitely in my top three of melted hairline units. Absolutely, because of the texture, because of the style. It's a perfect everyday unit. It really is. I love the hairline as well because I feel like at that time, Outre was doing better with plucking the hairlines on the melted hairline unit. So Martina, she made the cut in that department. And overall, she's just lovely. Pick her up, pick her up. And I believe on Amazon, she retails at around the same price as she would on other wig websites. So if you want that two day prime shipping with Martina, I got you covered. The link is down below. Let me know what you think. Have you tried Martina? How do you feel about Outre's Melted Hairline collection in general? I would say for a while it was my favorite collection. Then I noticed some inconsistencies that made me pause. So at this juncture, I don't know. Outre is definitely up there still as far as like wig companies that I enjoy. They're the most innovative in my opinion and the most consistent and frequent with their wig drops. But with that collection, I just, I would like to see I need to try some of the new ones because they, they've come out with a lot of new ones since then. This year they've had at least five that I've seen, maybe two that I would actually buy. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta figure something out with that. Whatever I get, y'all will end up seeing on the channel. All right, y'all, next on the list of synthetic wigs you slept on is another unit by Sensational from the Butter Lace Collection, Butter 10. <laughs> Let me tell you, when I first saw this unit on Miss Chrissy, I was like, oh bitch, I, I gotta get it. <laughs> it's a done deal, it's a no brainer. And then I got her and I did my thing to her. I did a lot of trimming, making sure that I framed it to my face and I was obsessed with the end result. This unit is gorgeous. Stunning curly unit. And I'm picky when it comes to the curly synthetic wigs now because some of them look like ramen noodles. And I'm not hungry, okay? I want my curly synthetic wigs to, I mean, is it too much to ask for it to mimic human hair a little bit, just a little bit in 2022? That's what I want. And I feel like Butter Lace 10 does a decent job at it. And for the price point, come on now. It's, it runs like $39, $40 and it's stayed consistent too, which is another thing I noticed with certain wigs, it'll start at a certain price point and then it'll go up in popularity and then come back down. But I feel like with the Butter Lace collection, their prices have remained consistent and I appreciate that, I really do. So if you're in the market for a nice curly, bedhead type of look wig you like bigger hair check that unit out i'm telling you watch my tutorial to see what i did to make it you know frame my face because i wouldn't recommend just wearing it straight out the pack i don't recommend that for any wig really but definitely not for that one so watch what i did the videos are also linked down below underneath the purchase link so have at it all right y'all the next wig that you have been sleeping on the next one on the list is another sensational wig. This is a half wig role model. All right, so we throwing this on. Ooh! Oh, bitch. This is cute. Styled in 60 seconds. What did I do? I didn't have to do anything. I'm in love with this. So role model made an appearance during my 10 cheap headband wigs thing that I was doing back in 2020, 2021. And y'all really, really love those videos. Role model, for sure was one of my favorites because of the texture. It's a nice kinky straight texture that is curled and the price point. I mean, you can find this wig for under $20 depending on where you shop at. Y'all, it's beautiful, it's curled, it's simple, and it's just so it's just so lovely to me. I especially love it with the headband. However, I'm sure it would look great with my hair out as well if I decide to curl my natural hair. I mean, the match game would be insane. <laughs> I really love my short textured units. I really do. The way I feel about Role Model gives me the same 
feeling as Outre Nakaya, which is one of my all-time favorite synthetic wigs, like of all time. I've mentioned this wig in several videos. If y'all don't get it by now, I don't know when y'all will. Nakaya is that girl. She's not on this list because she's already been in another video. <laughs> but I feel similarly about both units. Nakaya, I love her even more. But if you want a short textured unit, I would look into role model for sure. Nakaya too, I'll link them both. You won't be disappointed y'all. Like if you have type three, type four hair, especially if you have type four, A, B, C, Z, E, F, G hair like me, you're gonna like role model. All right y'all, next on the list of synthetic wigs that you've slept on. This wig, I found out about this wig at the very nth hour like this was December 2020 and I wanted, right, 2020 or 2019? I actually wanna bring this wig back. This is by Outre and this is from Perfect Hairline Collection, Outre Laurel. to explain how gorgeous this wig is in person y'all i feel like laurel was heavily slept on like i saw people review her and on every single person that i saw i was like wow banger straight up no question first of all the texture alone is gorgeous and the style i wasn't used to seeing that type of thick yakky texture and style and length all combined together. So that's what made Laurel special to me at the time when I tried her. I was like, yo, this is just holiday fabulous hair. I wore this during the, you know, Christmas holiday season and she was giving me life, especially on my birthday week. You know, I wore her for a whole bunch of different festivities. Now she did tangle up quite a bit, but remember that is what synthetic wigs do, y'all. They tangle, they tangle, especially at the nape. That's why I always recommend using my Simply Stylin silicone spray. I've talked about the spray a lot. Lot. A lot of you already know. Make sure you cop it. It'll be linked in my Amazon storefront. It definitely helps with detangling my synthetic wig units, maintaining the units, minimizing frizz, and just enhancing the sheen of the wig. It's, it's just a game changer product. Y'all need to check it out. Shout out to Simply Styling. But yeah, so Laurel is a wig that I wanted to see more people review because she's, she's gorgeous and I definitely feel like I need to bring her back in 2022 especially now that i have a new camera like when i reviewed her i was still on my iphone yeah that was like well over a year ago do y'all want to see laurel back on the channel let me know let me know i don't even rock long synthetic wigs as much as i used to anymore but laurel honey she can always have an invite back the last wig on the list this is definitely a wig that y'all have been sleeping on because i slept on it for who knows 10 years <laughs> It's by the company It's a Wig, and her name is Ellie. This wig is... <laughs> is this a wig? I just can't believe that I didn't have to layer this hair. I don't find curly synthetic wigs that come layered often. This is so freaking cute. So this is another wig that I featured when I did my cheap headband wig hauls. And what I like the most about Ellie is just the style and the texture. I don't think I had that type of styled wig in my collection at all. At that length, no. If I had an afro type of wig, it was literally like type four afro hair, or maybe like a loose curl, but not quite like Ellie. I think this half wig is pretty unique in that regard. So I think you should check her out. She's very cute, super easy, and of course very affordable. All the wigs on this list, you should definitely be able to find them for under $50, except for like Laurel. Laurel, she's probably gonna retail a little higher because she's the 13 by six frontal. But this half wig right here, easy peasy, done. And to be honest y'all, I'm still sleeping on her <laughs> because I have not worn her in a long time. I'm about to bring her back for summertime and just, you know, do my thing because she is too cute. She is too cute. All right, y'all, that is it for my list of synthetic wigs you slept on. This has been part three. Which ones are your favorites? Let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this, make sure you like the video. Make sure you share this with a friend. Talk to me, y'all. You know, I love to chit chat. If you're new here, we love to chit chat, especially during the premiere, premiere party, if you're watching with me. 
I love y'all so much. If you've never talked to me a day in your life, what's good, sis? Drop a comment. Let me hear from you. Introduce yourself. And if you have not subscribed yet, I suggest you do. Tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I really appreciate you all taking the time to watch this video today. I definitely have a lot of content coming up, but honestly, y'all, I have a lot going on in my personal life too. I've been doing a lot of traveling that's been just like having fun going out, seeing family. I literally was like in New York twice. I went to Philly and I went to Houston all in a matter of two months. So it's been a lot of movement and I, I'm trying to get back stabilized, but I gotta go to New York again this coming week, like in another week. So, you know, every time I go out of town, it always takes me a moment to like decompress and get my, my shit back together. But I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Make sure you catch me on TikTok because it's easier for me to get more content out on there. Follow me on Instagram. Both handles is that your hair with three R's. Check out some of my latest videos. Like the fact that I literally quit my job six months ago. I cannot believe it's been six months. What the, f like what? If you want to know more about that process, about how I left my 9 to 5, I'll link it down below. I also got press ones. I did a video on that. I'll link it down below. Support your girl. Follow your girl. It all means so much to me. And if you want to see my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for joining, for watching, for listening. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.